Australians love personal protective equipment. We have helmets, gloves, boots, earplugs, safety glasses, face shields, masks, prophylactics, but by far the most ubiquitous piece of safety equipment, at least in my opinion, is the high visibility yellow vest or jacket. These things are everywhere. Cleaners wear them, groundsmen wear them, repairmen wear them, truck drivers wear them, teachers in the playground wear them, posties wear them, builders wear them, workers in supermarkets now wear them, the guys collecting the shopping trolleys wear them. Everywhere I go, people are wearing yellow vests. But the most amusing people to wear yellow vests are soldiers dressed in camouflage. Does anybody else find that amusing? This is a picture of some British Royal Air Force personnel taking part in a march from the site of a Nazi prisoner camp to a war cemetery in western Poland. They were commemorating 70 years since the Great Escape. The soldiers were ordered to wear the vests due to common sense and the fact that some Polish drivers are really bad. I'm not joking, that was the given reason. Of course, we have to doctor history to make sure that Steve McQueen was wearing a yellow vest in the movie. Shouldn't he also be wearing a helmet? If you've been through any coronavirus checkpoints in Australia recently, you'll see a similar concept. Camouflaged soldiers wearing high visibility vests. Obviously, I'm not taking anything away from the soldiers here. They're just obeying orders, and obviously there's real safety concerns when standing on a highway. The goal isn't to be hidden in this case. The goal is to be seen by passing motorists. In Australia and New Zealand, we have a whole bunch of high visibility standards. Fluorescent, non-fluorescent, wet compliance, rainwear compliance, daytime, nighttime compliance. Class D shirts, Class D polos, Class DN shirts, Class DN polos. We have a rule for just about everything here in Australia, especially when it comes to safety. Things can start to get a bit comical though. Here's a real-life Queensland police officer from the elite Special Emergency Response Team in 2018. He's wearing the camouflaged helmet, he's wearing the camouflaged vest, he's got the assault rifle, but he's also wearing a bright yellow high-visibility shirt. Police officer's strange tradey outfit during siege sparks confusion. A photo of a police officer wearing a high-vis vest while holding an assault rifle during yesterday's Brisbane raid has people confused. You're telling me. Here's some hunters. They've got the camouflage jackets, the pants, the gun. They've even got a camouflaged wheelchair. But they're also wearing bright orange vests. Why? So other hunters know they're human and not game animals. Yeah, pretty much everybody wears bright yellow or orange high visibility vests now, especially politicians. Nothing beats wearing a suit, a tie, a helmet, and a high visibility vest. In this photo, they probably didn't have to wear them, they chose to wear them. Why? Because it's a great photo op. It makes you look like a regular Australian. As I said in the title, the yellow vest is best. G'day everybody, uh, this is the uh, current Prime Minister of Australia. As of uh, July 2035, all people in Australia now have to wear a high visibility yellow vest in all public locations. Oops, I better just put mine on now. Ah, uh, that's better. As I said, it will now be a crime to not wear a yellow vest in public. This is for your own safety as well as the safety of all Australians. Due to the high number of single vehicle crashes, it's now mandatory for all trees within 10 metres of a roadway to be painted bright yellow. Also, uh, to prevent those nasty mealtime accidents from occurring, knives and forks will now be outlawed. Instead, all Australians must uh, now use a brightly coloured plastic spoon. Thank you for your continued cooperation.